And now this is an island clear drill. And we'll do this a variety of ways with a variety of groups. But we got in this group, we got one, two, three. I can't remember if this is a five person drill or not. I guess I'll know here in a second. Uh, but we'll start with a pass or a shot, excuse me, shot from in front of the goal. And what we're looking for is we can mix up, we can, we can have the goalie create a ground ball. We might not have a goalie in this drill. We might just have a defenseman who's playing the role of the goalie. So a couple of things that are happening, we're looking for, for spacing of our guys. So, you know, banana cut, banana cut, you know, breaking up field, breaking up field, breaking to space. So we'll practice some of the patterns of our clear. It'll typically start with a ground ball or a rebound. And now we, we get some of the passes that we're going to be able to execute or need to execute within a clear. But before they leave, we'll do it a, a ways where a, a ground ball might be created. And so we get into the habit, you know, creating a ground ball right in the front porch or right off to the side, you know, some of the ground balls we just worked on in the gauntlet drill. So we'll do a couple of loose ball versions as well. And then we'll go from there. And then the last thing we're doing is we're practicing the language that we have in our clear, very particular to our team, uh, what teammates are saying to each other about the type of pass they want to make. So we got here, we got a shot, goalie catches the ball, right? Excuse me, you know, he throws it to the side. The ball is now here. And you can see we've, we've gotten out to our spots on the field within our clear, you know, nice and wide, and we, and we kind of go from there. And then, we, you know, the, the goal, the goalie or the guy playing the goalie position is going to be communicating. This is the guy who has the ball right here. He's going to tell him what to do with the ball. So he gets out there. He rolls back, throws it, cross field pass. Now the ball's here. He carries it. He carries the ball up, throws the ball upfield. And now we got a series of, of passes across the middle of the field. Ball gets thrown back. And we get some of the balls now back with the guy playing the goalie position again. Remember, this is a defenseman. You, know, you can have a real goalie, and now we've cre you know, we've crept up field, and you can see the people who are involved in the clear right now. Can't see everybody, but you can see now the goalie is going to make a series of other decisions with the ball. He throws it again, and now we're carrying it upfield, and we throw a pass over the midfield line. And now your next group is ready to go. These guys clear. Everybody who is in that group clears, gets over to midfield line, get a little conditioning in, and then they all circle back to the perimeter, either this way or this way. And now the next group is coming on the field. The next group of, of people who are in the drill are coming on. And now you can kind of go again. So you can see this happening. And, and you know, this repetition creates a, you know, creates a ground ball. We get an escape. But you can see how, how critical – this is a group of younger guys. He throws a short pass. You know, it bounces. This guy's got to trap it. He just received a short pass from this guy. And, again, you want to find out whether guys can make this pass or not. And here, the price of a short pass – there, remember, this ball bounced right about here is this is an attackman picking that off. And when you don't get wide enough, we talk about getting wide with our defensemen to help stretch the field away from riding attackmen. If you're too narrow and you throw a short pass, that's bad. So he throws a bad pass, and now what happens a lot, this guy's throwing this pass, he throws a bad pass. He throws a bounce pass to this guy. And so, you know, it gives you the chance – with particularly young guys, this is a bunch of walk-ons and freshmen in this group, is you got to teach them what they're not doing right. You know, reinforce what they're doing right. You know, he needed to be wider. This guy, don't throw a bounce pass. You know, I like to say if you're not long, you're wrong. So he was short in his pass. He didn't gather himself. He throws another pass that ends right here and bounces to this guy. 
he's not wide enough. And so you're learning that that guy can't throw that pass consistently. So it gives you an easy idea of something that you can work on. So. Here's a game example of multiple looks you get from Island Clear.